Hello and welcome to this video about Mailstore Server. My name is Daniel Voiten and I'm the Director of Technical Support here at Mailstore Software. In this video I'm going to show you how to archive email from a single mailbox of an email server. To set up archiving we first log on to Mailstore Server with the admin user. On the start page we click on archive email. The archiving process itself is based on archiving profiles that store all settings required for archiving. At Create Profile we find a list of all available types of profiles. We now select the appropriate archiving profile based on the origin. In our example Microsoft Exchange. Usually multiple archiving methods are available when archiving from an email server. Additionally to archiving single mailboxes in most cases it's also possible to archive multiple mailboxes with one profile or for compliance reason to archive all incoming and outgoing email directly. We decide for a single mailbox and click on OK to continue. In the first step of the wizard we specify the connection settings. These include the server name and protocol as well as the username and a valid password. If your mail server uses a self-signed certificate it's recommended to enable the Ignore SSL Warnings option to prevent problems when executing the profile from a scheduled task. After we successfully verified the settings by clicking on the Test button, we click on Next to proceed. Now we have the chance to include or exclude folders, define filters or deletion rules where required. By keeping the default settings, all emails will be archived from the mailbox. Only the deleted items Drafts, junk email and outbox folders are excluded by default. Clicking on next takes us to the next step of the wizard. As an administrator we now have to select a user in whose archive to store the emails. If you set up an archiving profile as a normal user, Mailstore automatically stores all email in the archive of the logged in user. Once again we click on next in order to get to the last step of the setup process. Here we can change the name of the archiving profile and instruct Mailstore to execute the profile immediately after clicking on the finish button. Let's keep the default settings and finish the setup. Mailstore now executes the profile. The progress bar gives a good picture of the progress of the running archiving process. Additionally to execute archiving profiles manually Mailstore allows a scheduled execution of profiles as well. Therefore we select the archiving profile to schedule and click on the schedule button. After adjusting all settings to our needs we click on OK to create a scheduled task for that profile. As Mailstore uses the Windows integrated task scheduler further security related questions may have to be answered. From now on the profile gets executed at the given time or interval in order to search the mailbox for a new email. Thanks for watching, see you next time.